Welcome to Origin Lens, where we uncover the hidden stories behind the things that shape our world. Today, we're diving into a debate as old as time, yet as new as tomorrow. Natural diamonds versus lab-grown diamonds. What truly defines their sparkle? Is it billions of years of geological wonder or the marvel of human innovation? Let's find out. First, let's journey deep into the Earth's ancient past. Natural diamonds are truly Earth's ancient legacy. Formed over 3 billion years ago, 150 to 200 kilometers below the surface in the Earth's mantle. Here, under immense heat, up to 1300 degrees Celsius and pressures 50,000 times that of atmospheric pressure, carbon atoms crystallized into the hardest natural mineral on Earth. The world's fascination began in India, with trade possibly dating back 6,000 years. As Indian supplies dwindled, Brazil dominated for over 150 years. But the modern diamond era truly began in 1866, with the discovery of vast deposits in Kimberley, South Africa, sparking a diamond rush and a new industry. Now, let's shift to the relatively recent development of lab-grown diamonds. The quest to replicate nature's marvel began in the late 1800s, but a significant breakthrough came in 1954 when General Electric successfully created the first confirmed batch under Project Super Pressure. Initially, these were tiny industrial-grade stones. By the late 1970s, gem-quality lab diamonds emerged, becoming commercially accessible for jewelry in the 1980s. The last decade, especially from 2013 onwards, saw monumental improvements, leading to a commercial boom as major players embraced them. In 2018, the U.S. Federal Trade Commission officially recognized them as real diamonds. Ever wondered how lab-grown diamonds are made? One incredible method is HPHT, or high pressure, high temperature. Inside a special growth cell, we start with a tiny diamond seed and a carbon source, usually graphite. A metal catalyst helps dissolve that carbon. Then we apply extreme conditions, immense pressure and scorching heat, just like deep within the earth. Over weeks, carbon atoms crystallize onto the seed, growing a beautiful, real diamond. Another method used to create lab-grown diamonds is chemical vapor deposition, or CVD. It's a precise atom-by-atom -atom process. In a vacuum chamber, a diamond seed is placed. Then, carbon-rich gases like methane and hydrogen are introduced and heated, forming a microwave plasma. This plasma breaks down the gases, allowing pure carbon atoms to rain down and slowly deposit onto the seed, layer by layer. Over weeks, a beautiful rough diamond crystal forms. CVD offers exceptional control, resulting in high quality diamonds with minimal environmental impact. Diamonds are often thought to be extremely rare, but that's a misconception. They're made of carbon, one of the most common elements on Earth, and scientists estimate that over a quadrillion tons of diamonds lie deep beneath the Earth's mantle. However, the reality is nuanced. While abundant deep down, finding economically viable gem-quality deposits is genuinely rare. Out of nearly 7,000 kimberlite pipes sampled, only about 60 were economically viable for mining, and only 1 in 200 contains gem-quality diamonds. Even then, only about 30% of extracted diamonds are gem-quality. The primary barrier to owning a diamond isn't its absolute rarity, but its price, largely influenced by controlled supply. So, how do experts tell them apart? It's not by eye. Trained gemologists use specialized equipment to detect subtle distinctions. Natural diamonds often contain trace nitrogen impurities, while many lab-grown diamonds, especially CVD, are type 2A, meaning they have no nitrogen. 
their growth patterns also differ, microscopically. Natural diamonds show cubic or octahedral patterns from billions of years of formation, while lab-grown ones may show distinct tabular or layered patterns from their rapid, controlled synthesis. The value we place on diamonds isn't purely geological, it's psychological. In 1888, Cecil Rhodes founded De Beers, consolidating South Africa's diamond mines and forming one of the most powerful monopolies in history. By the turn of the 20th century, De Beers controlled nearly 90% of the world's rough diamond supply. From Hollywood red carpets to post-war engagement traditions, De Beers transformed diamonds into a cultural ritual. Even in Japan, where the tradition didn't exist, diamond engagement rings became mainstream by the 1980s, symbolizing Western modernity and lifelong devotion. Lab-grown diamonds offer a more ethical and affordable alternative to mined diamonds, often costing 80 to 95 percent less. They're especially popular among younger buyers who value transparency. This shift is driven by concerns over the dark history of natural diamonds, including human rights abuses in the 1990s. While the 2003 Kimberley process helped reduce conflict diamonds, critics argue it doesn't fully address ongoing labor and environmental issues. So what is the real sparkle? It's a complex interplay of geology, science, economics, ethics, and culture. Natural diamonds carry billions of years of Earth's history, while lab-grown diamonds represent human ingenuity and a new era of accessibility and conscious consumption. Both are chemically identical, visually indistinguishable, and equally capable of capturing light and hearts. The choice, ultimately, reflects what sparkle means to you, a connection to ancient Earth or a testament to modern innovation and values. The diamond's future might be even more dazzling than its past, but perhaps not in the way you expect. While jewelry will always be a central part of its identity, diamonds, both natural and lab-grown, are poised to shape industries far beyond romance. In technology, diamonds are emerging as a super material. Their exceptional hardness, thermal conductivity, and electrical properties make them invaluable in fields like quantum computing, high-speed electronics, and advanced medical imaging. Some researchers are even using diamond-based sensors to detect diseases at the molecular level. Whether mined from deep within the earth or grown in a lab, diamonds are stepping into a new era, one where their brilliance shines in jewelry, in science, and in the innovations that shape our world. If you enjoyed exploring the world of diamonds with us, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss our next deep dive into the stories behind the sparkle. And we'd love to hear from you. Drop a comment with your thoughts on today's topic, or tell us what gem, mineral, or industry you'd like us to uncover next. Your ideas just might shape our next journey.